Greetings, this is Indian in the Machine, and um, today's April 2nd, and I caught the uh, Hukolo webinar on YouTube today, April 2nd, and a being named Lakesh, who is a blue Palladian, was channeled from Jim Charles, and I was able to ask Lakesh a question about uh, the New Madrid and whether it connects to the pole shift. Let's hear what Lakesh has to say on the matter. All right, um, there's a question uh, that says, can you talk about the New Madrid fault line shift? Is it imminent and is it related to a pole shift and the transition of many of humanity? This is Indian in the machine asking this question. The Madrid fault line shift is a direct correlation with the with the uh, movement of the axis in some ways, and it is also in accord with the movement of the magnetic uh, north, uh, magnetic north, that is what it's called. The magnetic north has shifted, and it is more over Siberia and those areas right now. It was not there before, and it does cause a change in the world and in the tectonic and volcanic systems. It also affects the weather. Weather, weather, weather. It will expect it. That will the, be the thing it affects most. Is it possible for you to answer a question? Okay, so the, um, it's all intertwined basically, and that makes sense, right? Like if a planet is wobbling, then it's basically shaking things up, energetically and physically. So we've got, uh, we're in a time of record earthquakes. There's high volcanic activity. The weather is extremely strange. And all of this is connected to a pole shift. So now Lakesh said, um, let's see here, that it was related to Siberia. And you can see that humans have made that connection. Here's a headline, for example, the magnetic North Pole rapidly moving towards Siberia. And there are several websites that are mentioning this. So Lakesh is saying now that it is basically in, in the Siberia area. Searching magnetic pole Siberia, we come up with some images and some headlines. For example, the magnetic North Pole is recklessly moving towards Siberia. It zooms towards Siberia moving rapidly, tug-of-war effect, pretty fast. Okay, the, the picture that's being painted here is that this isn't a gentle, slow process. So we're basically in it, people. We're in the moments before something very dramatic will happen. Now, it's related to the uh, New Madrid shift, and the New Madrid shift is related towards the earthquake activity that is now happening in the south of Mexico. So let's check that out. Let's bring it up a little closer. And first of all, let's pull it out just a, a wee bit here. So we can see here's the ring of fire. It's fairly active. And Mexico is very active. South America, or excuse me, Central America. Okay, we can change and pull up uh, 
And this is this is only activity during the last 24 hours, basically. So somewhat significant, it appears, over the past 48 hours, um, earthquakes that are three plus. And if we go to the past week, there is quite a bit. I, 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 I people. These are earthquakes three plus over the last week. Let's see what comes up for the past two weeks. Okay, sometimes the map doesn't seem to work properly. But over the past week, very active. This is the area of concern here because when there, when something does a shift here, like a dramatic shift, it's going to trigger the new Madrid fault line here. Okay, so this is why, please soak in this map. This is very telling. This is a precursor to this, which is connected to the pole shift. And furthermore, when this does a shift, it allegedly is going to send some sort of a tsunami, perhaps quite large, over to Europe. And then that's going to where that's where the show is going to begin in Europe. So Europe and the rest of the world, we're not just dealing with the new Madrid. Because if there's going to be a dramatic pole shift, then everything, I would imagine, is going to go kind of wonky. So meaning, the weather could get much more dramatic. The earthquakes uh, obviously will. I mean, that seems pretty apparent. Uh, volcanic eruptions. Uh, when there's a shift of the tectonic plates, there could be the releasing of gas into the atmosphere. There could be uh, um, huge winds, unprecedented hurricanes, that sort of thing. And just look at this, okay, because what we're we're told from the Zetas is that when this area starts to go off, that's the precursor to that shift. And another precursor has said to be the activity in Japan. And look at how active Japan is. Well, this whole area is very active. Uh, specifically, we were told to watch uh, northern Japan, but um, the whole thing's looking active. Then furthermore, a lot of the nuclear power plants are actually set along fault lines, at least from my awareness, in the United States. So what all this is saying, dear ones, please, please, please listen, is that when all this starts to go off, we're going to need help from extraterrestrials, our galactic family. It's very serious because we could be like, I mean, this could actually go off tomorrow. This is how soon it actually could go off. So, I wonder about humanity, about why we don't take the extraterrestrial factor in our lives very seriously, because we're not going to survive without their help. Okay, obviously things are not going back to normal, and normal wasn't that fantastic anyways because it was, an, it was a situation of slavery leading towards permanent slavery and the destruction of this planet. So 
let's paint a picture of the new normal, which has nothing to do with um, the new world order, but our new normal, not theirs. And so in our new normal, we can see ourselves maturing as a species. We can see ourselves developing spiritually. Our new normal could actually be divine world government and regular visitation that is open and transparent with our galactic family who can mentor us to become a galactic species and our leadership to be aligned with higher intelligence and spiritual development. We're going to need some high technology here, folks, because our atmosphere is going to be poisoned. It's going to have gases coming up from deep within the earth. We're going to be dealing with probably a lot of death. We're going to be dealing with our our grid, grids going out, our power, water, etc. There's going to be dams bursting. There's going to be pipes bursting, natural gas pipes. I mean, any way you look at it, there's no reason why people can't align with our galactic family. Like we can get a head start on our response. We don't have to wait till everybody's freaking out in a chaotic situation. So, oh, there's a lot of earthquakes in this area too. This seems quite notable. And I will mention that it's not coming up right now, but uh, there was a lot of earthquakes that suddenly went off on the west coast in fact it was something like over 900 that suddenly went off and it was timed with the uh the yellowstone earthquake swarm which none of that's coming up on this map but um and the reason why is because they probably were most of it if all of it was below 3.0 okay so we're only looking at the earthquakes above 3.0 so there's even more earthquakes that are actually happening. Okay, so we've got already the precursors. We've got this with Japan. We've got this with southern Mexico. And the southern Mexico part is going to really, like, the New Madrid from this point can happen without warning. I mean, it's not going to be like a, La -di -da, da 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 some sort of slow moving event it's going to be no there'll be a crack probably heard over the entire north american continent a very loud crack and some sort of uh, major energy wave that will be set into motion 